What's up everybody, Dante here. A while back I did a video on my getting rid of my iMac 5K display. Now I had it for about two, three months before I got rid of it. I just didn't like it. Me personally, I like Mac OS on a laptop. Now a while back, Apple did an event for their, what is it, WWDC where they announced some new products, some new software and all this other stuff out there. And they went into the iMac Pro. This caught my attention because it was like, it's supposed to be professional desktop, you know, for people who do, I guess, video editing, a lot of photo editing and things like that. And I couldn't help but they say, how are you going to call this a professional product, in my opinion? We all know that, like, the iMac is, like, the number one selling, I wouldn't say the number one selling computer, but, but the most popular computer people buy from Apple because it's all-in-one, it's simple, it's easy, you just plug it in and set it all up. Now, for the most part, you know, I see on YouTube all the time, a lot of people have iMacs. So some people, a, lot of, a good amount of people have MacBook Pros, but a lot of people have iMacs. So that's like the number one selling computer that Apple sells. So now they're coming out with a professional, I guess, version of it. And for me, it's hard to call it a professional product when it's an all-in-one. Because it's an all-in-one. Now, when you build a PC from the ground up, from what you want in it, so you can basically future-proof it. So if a new graphics card will come out, you can come get it or if some more RAM you want to put in, you can do that. So when you buy all in one, you can't really upgrade it. So it's all in one. So once you buy a computer, you pretty much get what you can. Now, them guys that I fix it can break it down and probably replace something in there, but the average consumer can't. And this ain't the average consumer type of product because it starts at $5,000. I mean, to me, that's typical Apple in my fashion because that's how much they charge for almost anything. They Every product is no less than $1,000 almost when it comes to their computers. Now, that's the base price for the iMac Pro. Now, the souped up version probably costs about 10 grand. Might be less, might be 9,000, but 10 grand the most. And you can get up to eight cores, 10 cores, 18 core processor. Was it 32, 64, 128 gigabytes of RAM. And I got this Radeon Pro Vega graphics chip that hasn't really come out yet. So we have to wait and see how that holds up. And you still get the 5K display. Now, the argument can be now, well, 8K is pretty much coming in the picture and it's coming more, I wouldn't say accessible, but more out there on the market. And you know, you're still charging $9,000 for this, but at the end, what can I say? But it's hard to call this professional product because it's an all-in-one. See, like I said, once you buy it, you just stuck with everything that's in there. But overall, we had just had to wait. See, don't come out to December, but Let's stay tuned for this and just let, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this iMac Pro and is a professional product in your opinion. Post your comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.